everyone. Can you believe we've already come to the end of our unit of work on Amazing Aliens? You've all been doing your hot rights this week and from what you've sent in they're looking really good. Today our job is to have a go at a cold write. Okay, so you're going to have a go at writing me a story and this time we're going to be working on suspense stories. So that's a story where something scary is happening and the vocabulary that we're using is going to build a scary atmosphere. So I've got a story here that might help you get some ideas for your own. So it's called The Manor House. One step at a time, Lara crept down the stairs. At the bottom, she paused, but all that she could hear was blood thumping in her ears. She'd be back before they awoke. Twenty minutes later, she entered Harrow Woods. Her torchlight found the path and occasionally flashed to show her the black, quivering leaves. Dark clouds had muted the moon. Before long, she came to the ruins of the manor house. In the front garden, the fountain was still and smothered in years of moss. Overgrown rose bushes blocked the path painted thick with th fallen petals. Warily, Lara perched on the edge of the fountain, took her camera from her bag and faced the trees. It was here that she had first seen it. This time, she'd be ready. After a few moments, she heard the wind awaken in the woods. The water rippled, the trees rustled, and a damp petal landed on her cheek. Lara shivered. Behind her, a door slammed. What was that? she whispered. Round, uh, she whipped round to face the house. A shadow moved through the downstairs room. Lara ran, shoving her camera back into her bag as she scrambled away from the fountain. She was sure she could hear something crackling and dry, cracking the dry twigs behind her as she sped through the woods. She didn't stop until she reached Meadow Drive, where she paused by a lamppost to catch her breath. Next time, she thought. Next time, I'll be ready. So it built up lots of atmosphere in that story. We never find out what it is that Lara is looking for. But the author has written it to build up lots of suspense, so much suspense, that even Sorbet wanted to find out what was going on in that story. Okay, keep watching and I'll explain your task for today. So, as I said earlier, your job today is to have a go at writing a story filled with suspense. Okay, so as we said earlier, suspense is where you feel like something scary is going to happen. Okay, so just like the story that I've just read to you, I've given you the structure. Okay, so the main character leaves a safe place. So in the story, she leaves the house. Okay, she creeps down the stairs, doesn't she? In your next paragraph, the main character is in a scary setting. So she goes into the forest, into the woods in the story. But you could have to think about a different safe place and a different scary setting that they could go to. Then in the third uh, paragraph, the main character in your story is going to wait to spot and see something, just like in the story. We don't know what it is they're waiting to find, and that's what helps to build the suspense. Then in the next paragraph, the thing that they're waiting to find, the threatening thing, arrives. Still, we don't find out what that is. We just know it's arrived. And in the next paragraph, it gets closer. Again, we don't see it. We don't find out what it is. And in the last paragraph, your main character escapes from whatever the threat is. Just like in the story, Lara, she manages to escape, but she promises to go back and try and find it again another day. So if you're following that structure, your curled right should have six paragraphs. Okay, a paragraph for each of the things that I've mentioned here. Don't forget to try and include all of those things we always talk about. So the right punctuation, really good description 
I'm sure you could put in a really good description of the scary setting. And we've done lots of work on describing characters. So you might add some detail about what your character looks like too. Enjoy writing, everybody.